Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Dave Alden here with another featured trail. This week it's Bomb Boyet Scrub Preserve in Olympia, Florida. I had been down in Tampa for vacation, was trying to check out as many trails in the area as I could, and this network has been uh, recommended to me uh, on some online chat places I went to. It's in the city of Lithia, and uh, I didn't know anything about Lithia. I checked it out on Wikipedia. It's an unincorporated community in Hillsborough County, Florida. It's got a population of about 8,500, and the area includes the census-designated place of Fishhawk. And I have no idea what that is. Anyway, it's uh, a rural community, and the trailhead is kind of in the middle of nowhere. But that's good, because that usually means there's probably lots of good trails. The, uh, the county-owned scrub reserve is about 4,900 acres of upland scrub, oak, and pine trees. There's also several lakes and enough small undulations to make the topography super fun. Uh, there's no real climbing, this is still Florida, but there's enough rolls to definitely keep it interesting. The network is uh, also managed and maintained by the Southwest Association of Mountain Bike Peddlers, also known as SWAMP. And I'll once again refer you to their website at swampclub.org for more details, including directions and a trail map. Speaking of map, I definitely recommend you print and bring a map with you. Everything is really well marked, but if you bring the map, it's much easier to find the good trails. I had a map. I even printed out on uh, this National Geographic adventure paper, but it fell out of my pocket on the ride in, and uh, so I was kind of lost just by using the trail maps that are out there. Anyway, I did find the map on my way back to the car, but it definitely would have made my first ride out there better. The uh, main network of trails is about a two-mile ride from the parking area on a pretty flat, straight fire road. Now, there is a fun, twisty single-track trail that'll take you about halfway down, uh, but either way, the real fun trails are definitely a few minutes down the road. In all, Bomb Boyette has about 25 miles of trails. 14 of them are rated as easy. 7.5 are rated as intermediate, and 3.5 are rated as difficult. Now obviously ratings like that are pretty subjective, but I'd honestly say that the majority of the trails there would be easy enough for really any new riders, but they're all fun enough for anyone to get something out of a ride there. This was the second trail system I had ridden that were managed by Swamp, and I'm really impressed with their work. Their website is super helpful, the maps are clear, the trails are well marked, and it really seems like they're making great strides in making Florida an awesome state for mountain biking. At the trailhead there's a pit toilet, and out on the trails there's a couple of picnic tables set up, there's even a first aid kit stashed out there, although I don't think its location was marked on the map. Anyway, uh, you really can't go wrong no matter which trails you choose out there. Uh, many are set up to be unidirectional, but that is marked on the map, and it's marked on the trailhead as well. One more thing though, uh, I rode out there the first day by myself, and then went back another day with my wife. We had stopped at an intersection somewhere near the north part of the trails, and we heard a noise that was like, no lie, no exaggeration, like a horror movie growl. It was like an angry bear or tiger. It was definitely a WTF moment. Now I guess it was an alligator, uh, but I thought we were pretty far back from the water. I did some uh, online searching on my phone while I was out there and found a video of an alligator growling and it sounded like that. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it was, it was definitely uh, a little bit freaky. We never saw what it was, but it uh, made for an interesting experience. Seriously though, I find uh, this place to be so much fun, I'd definitely consider maybe heading back there for winter escape sometime. Uh, check out the rest of the video and the pics to see for yourself. That's it for now. Until next time, ride on and I will see you on the trails. Bye-bye.